Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna try to make this video a little bit more different. I've been noticing as I've been editing my videos, it's kind of boring. I'm pointing at myself, leaving the camera somewhere, and I'm not really talking out loud. I'm kind of keeping my voice low because it's still kind of, I want to say embarrassing that I'm doing this, but you know what? We got to get used to it. Um, I just got out of work. It's Friday. It's the weekend, and it's 80 degrees out here in Seattle, so I figured I should take advantage of the weather and finally get these side skirts installed. I have both sides installed. I got the shroud on that I'll show you guys how to do. Um, one thing that I almost forgot to do is uh, put on the mesh pieces for the, for the side vent. So what we're gonna do right now, uh, over the weekend, I actually painted these, all of the mesh that I have for the front bumper, hood, and side skirts, uh, gloss black. And I think it turned out pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and start putting this mesh on so that I don't forget, they'll be harder to put on if the skirts are already on. So, so we got the black mesh on, hopefully you guys can see that. But what I didn't notice is, you know, all the pieces are pretty big and it leaves you all with a lot of excess mesh. I'm just gonna cut this down so that I can fold these pins up just a little bit more, making sure they're as secure as possible, so. Another thing I highly recommend doing, uh, kind of messed up, but on the carbon fiber shroud, Yes, if you see here, uh, it, it's put on by a couple bolts on the bottom. You should definitely tighten it down before putting it on the car because it's hard to reach. Um, it's super hard to reach from when, when it's already installed on the car. So I'm just tightening this down right here. Just wrist tight because I don't want to mess up the carbon fee break. All right, it's seriously getting super hot, 80 degrees in Seattle, and I'm sweating my ass off trying to do this shit. So what we've already done is got the shroud on, I got the mesh on, uh, and I laid 3M all the way across uh, to help keep this flush to the door or to, to the body, because when I fitted it on without it, it wasn't very flush, so I just want to make sure that it's going to stay on there secure. Two holes to put these bolts in. What, what, what you're going to do is you're going to go behind the liner, you're gonna stick the bolt through, and then you're gonna go ahead and secure it to the chassis, the skirt to the chassis. Um, I'm gonna need an extra hand, so I'm probably gonna ask my fiance to come out here and help me line the skirt up to the body. I bolted up the front, hand tight, and then I went ahead and screwed in these two to position where I want it. What we're gonna do next is we have to Dremel pilot holes to screw these in uh, on top of the 3M tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to tackle that now. All right, y'all, got the 3M on, got all the screws on, and we're finally finished. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. We got the back all screwed up in the back. We got it right there. And we got it going along. The 3M isn't working as great as I wanted it to, but hey, uh, some parts are sticking, some parts are, it's fine. Let's close these doors. Boom, not even scared to close them anymore. That's it. It was a lot easier than I thought and I dragged it out into days because I was super lazy to tackle it by myself. Uh, all you do is, all you need is an extra hand to mount it. It sits on the body pretty well without any screws at all already and then you can just do all the work yourself. But here's the look. Uh, you guys seen this side already. Man, these skirts changed the look of the car. And then 
we got this side finished too. Which this side was a lot easier because I figured out what to do already. Got it to sit super flush. The 3M type on this side worked actually really well and I was able to secure it to the door. But it's gonna sit like that. Hopefully I have time to put on the bumper this weekend. All right, I already fitted it, so it should fit on pretty well. I just gotta figure out, I don't know if the lights are gonna be hard to put on. I got new fog lights and new turn signals um, that I'll unbox tomorrow, and or the next time I put the video on, and I'll we'll mount it onto the bumper and see what's up. We'll put the rest of the mesh on, the hood, and the bumper, and then, and then it's all done. Then we'll go back to doing some more performance parts, but okay guys, thank you for watching. I'm gonna try to get better at looking you guys in the camera. I'd appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe so that I can be motivated to put more contact, content up and do a lot more things to my car. But uh, appreciate you guys, whoever is watching, and stay tuned for the build. Thank you. Peace.